Brother, Heracles, brother, you go to the Old Testament, you'll see Elisha, Elijah raised the dead. You've got many prophets and medicals, brother. So don't say by the medicals that you are God. Yes, Sam. Hey, brothers. Shamoon, how are you? Yes, yes. Sir. <laughs> Can I just uh, give you advice, one advice? Yes, sir. He would not win with you verse by verse. <laughs> see the analogies he gave you? He said Elisha raised the dead, right? Right. He did. Can I let me see? This is why Safra. Let me have a, a, let me talk I with him. You have to. It's important now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll be patient. And um, it's not the miracles that prove Jesus is deity. It's the claims he made, which the miracles confirm. I'll give you an example. This is where he's attacking straw men. Usually you want to steal men, your opponent, make their best argument. So I want Safras or any Muslim to show me, Elisha or Elisha or Elijah, when they pray to raise the dead, using that miracle to prove that they are the resurrection and the life. Because if you go to John 11, 25, 26, when Jesus raises Lazarus, it's to prove that he is the resurrection and the life. Now, according to his Tawheed, that would be two names of Allah because Allah is Al Bayyith, right? And Al Hay or Al Hayat, Al Hay, more, more specifically. Jesus did miracles to confirm the claims he made that no prophet made and only God can make. I am the resurrection life. So, my challenge to the Frost is show me anyone in the Quran because he believes in the Quran or in the Old Testament that did a miracle to confirm the names that even his religion attribute to God Al Bayyith and Al Hay. So this is a false analogy. And then the analogy with Adam, he knows not to use this argument. Because I'm going to ask you, Adam, you're very intelligent. <laughs> could Adam, could Adam have been born of any parent if he's the first man? So just the circumstances in which Adam was created necessitates he would be created in a unique manner. He's the first man. But why did Jesus need to be born of a virgin after all those thousands years of sexual reproduction, why him being born of a virgin when it wasn't necessary? Because Adam's situation was that he's the first man. He couldn't have parents or he wouldn't be the first man. Some, but them uh, Jews are proper, like proper, their hearts are hard and they were on the truth. So what Allah did, he 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 showed Israel a big medical with with. Jesus, and even with that big medical, is still reading the Quran. Was a terrible miracle. You know why? Yeah? So, for us, it shows you don't read your Quran. It was a terrible miracle because it, it required. Big Jesus. Well, let me explain from your Quran if you give me a chance from your Quran. Mm -hmm. What kind of miracle was this for the Jews when it required Jesus to speak as an infant to vindicate the slander against his mother? That was a pathetic miracle because no one could verify she conceived and gave birth as a virgin. So then Allah had to make Jesus speak as an infant to vindicate her honor. What a terrible <laughs> miracle for the Jews. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Why they, did Jesus speak as an infant in Surat al Maryam then? Because they question her, saying that, how on earth can you be Thank you for your, my your point. woman? But then Jesus Thank spoke you. to him. He spoke to him in the cradle to show. To show what? That she didn't conceive him illegitimately. So it was a sucky miracle to convince the Israelites if it required another miracle to then silence the slander. Oh, come on. Because their hearts are hardened. Oh. Their hearts are always hard, hard, hardened. Even today, their flipping hearts are hardened. Oh, so if their hearts are hardened, that means you're showing that the miracles were useless. So then why do the miracles? Thank you so much. Come on, man. Many prophets come and show miracles to them, but they still rejected some. Many prophets. I the argument, anyway, so Anam, just so I want you to continue the discussion. When he tells you other prophets did the miracles, that's not the Christian argument. Mm -hmm. The Christian argument is that Jesus did miracles to confirm the things he said that only God could say. For example, when he healed the paralytic, in Mark 2, verse 1 to 12, he goes, I'm going to do this so that you may know the Son of Man has power to forgive sins on earth. Which according to the Quran at chapter 3, verse 135, no one other than Allah can forgive sins, which is exactly the accusation made against Mark 2, 7. So I want him to show me. I'm going to give I'll be, I'll be waiting. I'm in the background. I didn't want to come. I wanted to finish my article. But when he made these points, I couldn't control myself. So, so, I'm going to be listening in the background. I want you now to quote any prophet that did a miracle to confirm he is the resurrection life. He has the power to forgive sins on earth and so on and so forth. Show me that and then you'll have a case. So steel man our position, not straw man it. So I'll be in the No, back. I'm not straw man. We were talking about the Quran. That's what I was talking about. Quran with him. Oh, that, even the Quran got a problem. You know He's why? A He's a I want to ask you a question from your Quran. How is it that Jesus is able to breathe? into a clay object and animate it because to breathe life into an inanimate object means that he is able to breathe out the spirit of life the same way Allah does. Why did Allah allow him to do that and no one else? Because he was given permission. He was given powers to... to I already answered that. Why did Allah allow him to do that and no one else? Just.
Just that's it. That's your answer. <laughs> because he, he's going to throw it to him in to why? Why oh all this for Jesus, where he's making Jesus comparable to him? Like Allah, Jesus breathes out life into an inanimate clay. Like Allah, Some. Jesus raises the dead. So why is Allah doing it for Jesus and even causing Some. Jesus Some. to be see miraculous? He doesn't do it for anyone. Not Some, even the thing is, Samia, you're just uh, avoiding the main verses where Allah says that whoever says he has a son will be in hell. So if why? you believe Jesus is a son, well, the, well, that, has a mother. Eh? The Quran has a mother. We know about the Quran. Chapter what do you want 43. about, Sam? What do you want about? Yeah, chapter 43, verses 3 to 4, it says, and this Quran is in the mother of the book that is with us. <laughs> hey, Come on, context, 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 Sam. I'm going to be making my yeah. point. You can talk over me. That shows you're scared. I'm not. Okay, so wait. You're saying Allah can't have a son unless he has a consort. Yet Mary had a son without a consort, showing that Mary is better than your God. And secondly, the Quran has a mother. So explain that contradiction in your Quran. It's not contradiction. When when he talks about mother, he's talking about another thing. He's not. He's not talking about. No, no, no. How can the Quran have a mother if it doesn't have a father? When he use Allah's logic here. No, 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 no. I'm using Allah's logic. He he says the same thing about the Hekka. He says the Hekka is an other of all cities. So that's how the can the be the mother of all cities if it she doesn't have a husband? I'm going to use Allah's logic. It does here. not mean literally mother. Come on, money. Take uh, that context. Some you take that uh, context. Some it doesn't mean it means you can be a mother without having a husband, and you can be a father without having a wife. So you just married the law. Some you, I just told you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You do you get in your head? Okay, you're going. So you're getting angry now. It's okay. Breathe. No, I'm not getting angry, Sam. You know me, man. I'm let's, angry let's parse Surah Al-Ikhlas. Okay, you yeah. said Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. Now I'm going to challenge you. Show me a single place where the word Ahad appears and it means one and not one of. It means it means one. No. Say he is one of one. Why means one? Show me, means one. One. Show me one. a single place in the Arabic Quran where the word Ahad appears and it doesn't mean one of. What the heck, Sam? I'm not a bloody Arabic scholar, am I a teacher, whatever, but obviously it's one. It means one. Say no, it's one only. Every time Ahad appears in the Quran, it means one of. It never means one. Matter of fact, you can check verse four of that same chapter. Yeah. Check exactly. verse four of that same chapter. It says, No one is like Allah. There's exactly. No, and it's no. Ahad. Mm -hmm. Ahad. They, nothing like him. So why did your God use Ahad when grammatically Ahad means one of? And confusing you so that you have to now reinvent Arabic gram grammar rules to then salvage the Quran. Some we going by the Arabic scholars, teachers. They know the Arabic okay. and all of us law. Prove you know the Arabic that. scholars know what they're talking about. Quote one single place in the Quran where Ahad doesn't mean one of. Oh man, I even I listen. I'm not explaining Arabic. Okay, anyway, listen. I'll pull back. I'll let Anam. Anam, <laughs> I just wanted to help you there, my friend. <laughs> Don't let them appeal to people's miracles because Jesus did miracles to confirm things that no prophet said, but only God can say. So I just wanted just wanted you to know that. I'll be in the back because I'm going to write. So <laughs> Safras, please don't animate me to come back because I don't want to. Sam, I want him to you. Hear you <laughs> just nice to meet you. I'll see you in the back in a bit. <laughs> <laughs>